Hello, 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 hello. How are you guys doing? Thank you guys so much for joining Tara's Tarot. I appreciate you guys clicking on to my video. This video will be for all my beautiful and my handsome kings and queens. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. So please take the parts that does and what doesn't leave it on out, okay? It also could be the past, the present, and the future. All right. What I'm talking to is a divine being, okay? You're definitely a divine being. It's like you're going to be noticing some of you that has already been doing the fucking work and cutting folks the fuck out. The ones that have made a decision to cut out these motherfuckers, whoever these people are, that are in low vibrational energy, okay, they don't serve you none, they don't mean you no good, that's in competition, it's jealousy, whatever. Those that are working on cutting these people off are those who are already cutting these people off. They're not receiving their karma. Because the only reason why they were coming up and receiving blessings is because of your presence. It's because of your presence. And now that your presence is not around them anymore, they can't feed off of you. They're going down. Now they're receiving their karma. Now they're receiving their karma. Mm, confirmation. These people are not receiving their karma. Some of you could be feeling a little bit of anxiety. Okay? But that's all right. Because there's so many people that are in your energy field at this time. Because they're trying to figure out, like they're in the regret. They know they're facing karma because of how they treated you. How the fuck do you keep coming up? How the fuck do you keep coming down and keep coming up? They ain't never seen no shit like that before. And you of all people, okay, are the ones are the ones that got the fuck out of that cycle, that generational curse, that, that trauma bonding type of shit. You got out of it. You made a decision in your life. That you're going to be fucking happy. So right now some of you could be feeling a little bit of anxiety. Because it's all these energies from different people. From family, friends, ex-lovers or what have you. All coming at you at one time. So you kind of feeling a little panic. You could be feeling a little dizzy. Okay. Because it's motherfuckers that are pulling onto your energy at this time. They're in regret. Because they're facing their karma. And when it, come, when it, come, when it, come, blah, when it all comes down to it. Can't even speak. They know you are the goat. You are the motherfucking shining bright light that even made their whole world exist. And I don't need to be sounding cliche or whatever. But you are light worker. And it is what it is. You are chosen. God been watching you since birth. I'm hearing God been watching you since birth. Like, they wanted to see how you were going to handle certain shit within your life. Were you, how are you going to react to that situation? How are you going to overcome that situation were you going to use kindness or were you going to be just like them do them how they did you are you going to do that some of you did some of you didn't fall for the bait you kept it pushing you love people expect the people to love you back but didn't realize these folks don't give a fuck about you so you had to get the fuck on about that then after these motherfuckers way okay and all of a sudden you just start ever elevating you just start going up baby you just start woo -hoo. In this motherfucker thing. Okay? Period, boo. Some of you could be single. Okay, your current status, you could be available at this time. Alright? But it's just like you just, you get so many downloads, so many synchronicities. And, you know, you're seeing a whole bunch of, you know, everything through music. Okay? Through whatever. You're seeing this shit. Okay? It's to the point where some of you are so humble. And you have forgiven so many people for doing you wrong. You still. Spirit is still going to allow you to see their karma. And Spirit saying don't you feel sorry for them. No, 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 no. Don't feel sorry. Because they didn't give a fuck when they were doing you dirty. They didn't give a fuck. They actually wanted you to be dirty. I mean, you know. <laughs> you know what the fuck I mean. They actually wanted you to be down. And you know what I'm saying. Down in the fucking dirt. Struggling. Okay. They was getting high off of that shit. I high off your struggle. Ain't that, ain't that fucked up? But people really like that. Trust me, I know. <laughs> okay? All you got to do is sit pretty and sip tea on these motherfuckers. <laughs> and keep it motherfucking pushing. Alright? Yeah. So you're going to see people. These are family members, y'all. They want to pop up. They want to see how you're doing. So we'll be expecting calls. Be as, if they know where you live, be expecting these people to come through. Okay, or even somebody that you even had a family with. Okay, but or people that you grew up with. These people want to get it lost. I'm telling you, these motherfuckers is lost. 
L-O-S-T, boo. Lost. All right? Because you're not there. Okay? They're in a dark and gloomy motherfucking place at this time. You're not there anymore. You're not giving them any light. Okay? You're not shedding light either. Like, it is what it is. They're recalling right now. All oh, this shit is rushing in. Because they have been stuck. Some of you, um, it has hit their pockets. It has hit their pockets to the point where they're stuck. They can't do shit but sit down. God has set their motherfucking ass down. Now they're recalling the shit that they have done in their past. What how I treated so and so. What I did to them. All that shit. Okay? These motherfuckers are facing anxiety. Because they're like, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next in my life? Oh my God. Okay? All right, you're receiving these downloads from Spirit. Okay? Letting you know what the fuck is going on behind your back. Yeah, people are talking, conversating, discussing you. They're gossiping about you at this time. Okay? They're gossiping about you. I'm getting this one particular bitch that won't keep your name out her mouth, though. Okay? I don't know who this chick is, but it's one particular fucking female that won't keep you out her name. I mean, keep, you out, uh, keep your name out her mouth. For some of y'all, yeah, these are people that are similar to you. These are romantic partners. These are friendships. Okay, what have you. People that you consider you love. You know what I'm saying? At one point of time. Yeah. Now they want to bargain with you. Now they want to beg you for your forgiveness. Thinking that the karma is going to be wiped away. And it's not. Because you have already forgiven these stupid asses. But you don't give a fuck. You're not giving them that satisfaction. And that's just period. Okay? You're not giving them that satisfaction. These folks in a mental prison and confined. Some of these people are getting locked up. Some of these people are going to spiritual jail. Okay. Some of you definitely have been seeing a lot of signs. But the karma is here. 11, 11, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3. Karma is here, baby. Okay. Yeah, these motherfuckers' emotions is running high. They don't know what the fuck to do. Yeah. Some, some of these people wishing that they would have gave you some type of long-term commitment. So now they tuned in and watching you. Mm-hmm. Whatever platform you got, they watching now. Okay, yeah. Yeah, these people are addicted to your light. Okay, they don't want to let you go. They don't have a grip on you anymore. They don't have control over you anymore. They're feeling way down because they can't suck that energy out of you. They can't suck it out of you. Okay, like they used to. These family, these friends, or whatever. They can't do that shit no more. So now they, all these motherfuckers is going in cahoots with each other. They're turning on each other now. They're being exposed and they turn on each other. <laughs> Look at that. Page of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. You could be a Queen of Pentacles. You don't have to be a Virgo towards a Capricorn. You could just be simply in the bag. Okay? Very humble at this time. Alright? And these motherfuckers is watching. Gathering information. Some of these people could... Oh my goodness. Yeah, Four of Cups. Because you're rejecting them. You don't want nothing from their asses at this time. Like what? I'll pass. Yeah, look. Now by you rejecting them, I'm telling y'all, these people are trapped, man. These people are motherfucking trapped. By you rejecting them, they're trapped. They can't see. They can't move forward. Yep. Oh, wow. Why you over here getting some type of commitment of your motherfucking life, bitch? Okay. Look at that, boo. Wow, you over here loving on yourself. You got a big ass cup of love. Damn, look how big this cup is. Look how big that cup is. That's a big ass cup. You done pour all that love. You done filled your cup up by trying to give these people love. Okay, and they didn't deserve it. So you done filled your own cup up. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Hermit. You staying within yourself. You content with yourself. Will of fortune. And you're receiving all your motherfucking blessings and downloads and gifts. And, wow, man. You're a highly fucking protected. You could be a Taurus. Water sign, kick by Scorpio. Wow. Wow. Okay, what else? Ooh, a star. Some of you could definitely be healers. You are the healer of this family dynamic for these people or what have you. They didn't know what they had till it was gone. Okay? They didn't know it was a gem in their presence until it was gone. Alright? You just you just being patient. You're going with the flow. Okay? You just focus on the bag. Some of you just focus on your bags. You ain't got time for it. And you ain't offering nobody a damn thing. Seven of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. You're investing in something that has potential here. Whatever this is. Ooh, Seven of Cups. You got a lot of options coming towards you. A lot of opportunities. But something here in particular has potential that you're working on. Keep going here. Yeah. Get out of your head. Yeah. Four swords. These people don't want nothing. Oh, wow. These people are burning, y'all. 
Three of swords buried in despair. Wow. They're depressed like a motherfucker. Then we got the nine of cups. All because you are. They could have been drinking though. But I'm definitely getting like. You're content baby. You get your wishes fulfilled. You ain't worried about a damn thing. And that's the truth with the ace of swords. Like. Uh -huh. See you when I see you boo. Period. Yeah, the high priest. These people try to block out your intuition. Okay? They, what's the high priestess? Yeah, five of swords. These people try to block out your intuition. They try to make it seem like you are crazy. You are a liar. But really, you got the higher power behind you. And that's pure point blank. Okay? Stop fucking playing. Alright? Or people could even be lying about your relationship or what have you with the two of cups. The ten of cups. Boom, boom, bam. Okay, you got options out here in these streets, baby. If you with somebody because you want to be with them, you don't need nobody. Fuck what they saying. Okay? Yeah, you're in some type of commitment and they jealous. Yeah, you chose. You made a choice. Some of you made a choice. That's why they talking about your relationship. <laughs> That's why they talk. Because even if they with somebody, they ain't happy. The person ain't giving them what they need. All right? Yeah, you, you're not stuck anymore with the hangman in reverse. I'm playing. These fuck motherfuckers mad. Like I said, it's one particular ass female here, though, that's talking about you. Who was this chick? Queen of Swords. I can't make this shit up. Somebody in your friend group. Somebody that you considered a friend. Somebody that you hung out with. Or what have you. Queen of Swords. Bitter, jealous ass bitch. Four of Pentacles. She's mad because she's penny pitching. Okay? And she mad because um, she see you over here living your best life. You're actually very happy. Okay, yeah, this bitch getting judged at this time for this type of moon magic or whatever the fuck she was trying to do. She getting judged. Okay, yeah, she's fear of getting. She's she was fearing. She was fearing her karma, I should say. But this shit is coming. Karma don't miss nobody. Okay, three of pentacles. Yeah, there's somebody that you work with. All right, at one point in time, maybe even at your job or whatever. But you was affiliated with this person. Y'all hung out a few times. Okay, but. You're on the pedestal now. Look at that shit. You're on that pedestal now. You see how this man carving this statue and these two? Is that two people? You have two people out here in the background looking, hating, jealous with their evil eye. Because these people see you have rose to the top. Keep rising to the top. And you're going towards self-love and new love. And walking away from them. And that's just what it is. I guess I see you next lifetime. Okay. Yeah, somebody's walking away. Going towards their divine. That's the person. Okay? Yeah, so karma's here. Karma's here. All right, and that's all I got for you guys. I appreciate you guys so much for joining me. If you guys will need, you know, need anything from me, like a personal reading, you like, do, do, you're like, I can't talk today. What the fuck? You guys would like to donate to my channel or even add me on Instagram. All of that is down below. Okay, y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay easy, honey. Okay? Times is coming for these motherfuckers to pay the piper. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, check out my other video I uploaded too today. All right. Bye, y'all.